And Ben, the number of veterans who have died at the Holyoke Soldiers Home is in fact growing. The state just releasing troubling new numbers. Disturbing new information about the coronavirus spread at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. The state now saying there have been 21 recent deaths there, 15 confirmed from COVID-19. 59 veterans have tested positive and 160 have tested negative. We have created um, units for individuals who've tested positive, units for people who have tested negative, so that we can ensure that people are appropriately isolated. The superintendent of the soldier's home has been put on paid leave. The governor appointing an independent investigator. It's about what happened, but it's also about who was talking to who about what when. Governor Baker also announcing a first of its kind effort with nonprofit partners in health to trace the contacts of people who test positive for COVID-19. Staff will contact COVID-19 patients to learn about their recent activities and ensure that they're taking appropriate steps to get healthy and to not spread the virus. The more data we have, we can protect the vulnerable. We may be able to get the healthy back to work. And we think this investment in really understanding the epidemic in the Commonwealth will be a game changer. And we're hearing from the governor about what happened to that order of 3 million N95 face masks meant for Massachusetts. He says they were confiscated in New York by the federal government. We've assumed all along that they were just confiscated and that they probably ended up in the stockpile. And the governor hoping to get that tracing program up and running at least by the end of the month. And he pushed back on any questions about whether or not he thought it was too late. He says, no, it's early. Reporting remotely, Sharman Sikhetti, WCVB News Center 5.